Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing some crawfish trapping and we are going to be going walleye fishing later today to pass the time. Here we got our little lovely crawfish trap and we're going to see what we can catch. Now, the water temps are still pretty cold and I know crawfish aren't really the most active little critters when it's cold out. But with the warm weather that we have today and it's being nice and sunny and this lake is pretty freaking shallow and there's a lot of crawfish in here, I'm thinking you know what, maybe they'll come up shallow and soak up some sun. And we're gonna leave the trap out to sit out here for a while. We're gonna let it sit out here till tomorrow morning around this time, and then we're gonna come back and check on it. We are finding some lovely structure where they might be hiding on. There's some cattails right down here, and we should be good to go. It's a little muddy, sandy area, so we're just gonna host the trap out as far as we can, kind of near the cattails. We might even walk down just a little ways. I think we're gonna walk down until we find a nice little deep pocket. So, that being said, we found our first little spot here. It gets deep quick, there's some cover for them, and there's a lot of weeds and stuff. So I think this is a good spot to set our trap out. And it's a windblown side, which I don't know if that means anything for crawfish or not. We're gonna find out if it does or not. Anyways, we got our trap right here. It's a pretty simple trap, obviously. The crawfish come into this little cone, they go in, and they can't get back out. Just your basic minnow, crawfish trap, whatever you wanna call it. Just gonna slide the door open, and it's just a spring that holds it together. We got a little glizzy we can use for bait. Look at this little guy. We're gonna rip them in half. Maybe you'll get the scent going a little bit more, but we're just gonna throw them in there just like that. Close this back up. And yeah, now we're set to go. So we're just gonna do one of these. She looks good to go. We just gotta tie her down and then we'll come back tomorrow and see if we don't have anything in the trap. Pick up our glizzy bag, but yeah, we got the trap out. Now all we gotta do is wait and uh, check on her tomorrow morning and see if we don't have anything. Now for the meantime, Mr. Aachen has his day off of work today, so we are gonna be going fishing. He does have stuff going on right now, so unfortunately we can't go out right now, but we might take the boat out, I'm not really sure. We'll probably just end up waiter fishing today. I don't know when we're gonna go fishing, I don't know when we're gonna head out. I don't know what that kid has to do today, so we're gonna wait and see what time we head out and we'll probably see you guys at the lake. Well, we have finally made it here to the spot. Isaac and I are ready to go catch some fish. We just need to grab the rods and the camera case out from the cur here. Mr. Rockin, how's it going? It's, it's gone. It's kind of windy out here. It's a little just, breezy as usual. Yeah, which, I mean, we're fishing the windy side of the lake as again. You, as you do. Yes, hopefully we can catch some bigger fish today. I'm hoping we're so. We're at the same spot. Knowing our luck, we'll probably, we probably won't catch the big ones. Or 13 inches. Yeah, but I'll probably, but yeah. They do what it be. You are starting off with the drop shot, it looks like? Part, yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm probably gonna start off with the saucy swimmer or something like that. Big swim bait, of course. You guys know me, that's like one of my favorite things to throw this time of year. So, me and Isaac, we're gonna get down there, start fishing, see if we can't catch any fish for you guys. Well, we have made it down here to the windy shoreline, as you guys can probably hear. We're starting off with this little swim bait. It's just a nice little white and black, just a natural looking color. Then we got a beat up quarter ounce jig head connected to straight braid. I would usually run a leader, but I just got too lazy and I didn't feel like running a leader today. So we're just, go, we're just rocking the straight braid. Hopefully this will catch fish. If not, we might have to switch up to some some more finesse. Catch anything yet? Yeah. Oh, Poppy. Is it a big one? Nice one. Akin's hooked up with the first fish of the night on the drop shot, going a little finesse. He says it feels decent, but we will find out. I'm thinking it's gonna be a small pickerel. Small pickerel and nice walleye. It's gotta be one of the two. Nice walleye. We'll back up the shore so I can grab it if you need help. Oh, she ain't a bad one. Look at him. He's just skiing in. Right to pop? That's a good one. You want them? I'll grab them for you. Maybe not. That's all you, homie. I'm just here for support. Look at this guy. <laughs> That's a good one. That ain't a bad one, kiddo. Well, maybe maybe they want something more finesse today. Oh, God, yeah. I'll get in the beautiful sunset in the background. Right in the corner of the mouth, how it's supposed to be. Way to get her done. What? Ah, finally, dude. God dang. I was gonna say, bro, if I would've missed this one, I would've been pissed. Not 
Oh yes, we'll throw them on a stringer. Aachen's got one, so we might as well keep another. Well, it's about time. What is that? Ten miss fish later? There we go. There he goes, small guy. Close again, bro. You down? Yeah, I was debating on keeping the other one, but he's pretty small. Yep, he's a little small. <laughs> nah. Small jaw. Better? Small jaw. It's a smallie, bro. Oh. Yeah. It's a smallmouth bass. Oh, yeah. He bit close too, bro. Where are those, Daisy? Are those some walleye? Those are some walleye. You excited to maybe eat some crawfish tomorrow? Huh? Are you? Yeah. Are you? Do you want some crawfish tomorrow? You know what, I hopefully, hopefully we got some in the trap, all right? Well, we are finally back. We are at my parents' house and we are gonna clean the walleyes that Isaac and I caught. Isaac, unfortunately, is not here. He was tired, he wanted to go to bed. So I was like, hey, you know what, I'll be a nice friend. I'll clean your fish for you and then hopefully Isaac and I will be able to feast on those sometime soon. So we're gonna finish cleaning the walleyes that we got and then we will see you guys tomorrow morning when we check on the crawfish trap. Well, it is now the next day. It's about 24 hours later, just a little bit longer than 24 hours. Paige, do you think we catch anything? Um, maybe. I don't maybe. know. It's pretty nice out. It is nice out. I think these crawfish wanted to come out today and yesterday morning, hopefully, and hopefully we can get some in the trap. Well, we made it down here to the trap, and it kind of looks like someone played with the trap because uh, obviously it was down this line, and now it's way over here. Okay, let's, let's see it hoist it. Just the anchor, yeah. Oh, you gotta get it over. Oh, there's something in it. There's a glizzy. Oh. Oh, I think we actually got some, Paige. We got a couple. We didn't get a lot. Um. There's three. Oh, oh, there's more. Here's the glizzy. You want the glizzy? Um, look at this guy. He's got one pincher. All right, let's. Do you want to grab the container? All right, we'll just dump them out. Oh god, yeah, look at this little guy. Our first little guy. We're gonna throw him in the container. Oh, big chungus! Sweet. Sheesh! Sheesh! Look at that guy. Here, you wanna touch him? No. <laughs> no, she's not a fan, alright. Another little guy. Another glizzy. You can throw that in there for him. Just a little baby bird, that one is. Oh! He almost got me with this pincher. One, one claw, dude. We got five, six, six, I think, right? It is still very cold out here, so I'm not that surprised that we didn't get that many, but hey, 
Honestly, it was more than what I was expecting. That's for dang sure. But now it is time for Paige and I to go home, clean these suckers, and then we're going to cook them and see how they taste. So we made it back here to the house and we got our lovely crawfish. Now we just got to clean them out. Ooh, yeah. That's tough. Okay. Um, we're just going to leave this water running until, obviously, the water inside gets a little clear because these little suckers are kind of grimy and greasy and dirty, kind of like this guy right here. We're going to let this do this for about five minutes, probably somewhere around there. We don't have very many in there. We only got the six in there, so probably won't take too long. And then we're going to start to boil them and uh, do a little catch clean cook on these guys. So you guys stay tuned and we'll see you guys in just a little bit. Don't those look good, Chew. Parker? You want some? You yeah. gonna stay for some? Actually, you gonna try and stay for one? It's not gonna take long. They're just gonna boil for a quick minute here. We'll dump them in here. R.I.P. to our little friends. Oh, they're gonna taste good though, Parker. We got some seasoning in there. You gonna boil these little guys? Get that heat cranking back up. Oh God, yeah. Crawfish are in there. Seasonings in there. We're gonna let them boil for two, three minutes until you know they get that nice red, and then we're gonna take them out, let them cool down and then munch away. They do look done. They look good too, our little guys. I'm excited to eat these, man. I haven't had crawfish in a long time, and I'm excited to try it. Probably not since the last time we made a video. <sighs> oh yeah, the hand, we caught, we caught them by hand. Yeah. Yeah, that was lit, I forgot. You were there for that. That was, that was before we were in roommates. Yes. Yes, Paige, you wanna go in for the first one? I'll let you guys. Okay, first. Parker, do you wanna go in for the first one? Uh. Sure. There's the poop line. We got the poop line out. We're kind of nerds at this, bro. Um, here, you want to go in? I'll take it. All right. That brown stuff is juicy. That's like the seasoning stuff. Cheers. Good. It is good. All right. I think you need some butter to dip it in. Some butter to dip it in? Is yeah. that the move? I think that's what we did last time. I think it is what we did last time, too. It's not focusing. Okay, there we go. A little crawfish tail here. First one of the year. I'm excited. Here you go. Mm. I like it. It does need some butter or some like dipping sauce. Some butter or something would be great. Yeah. That would be good. It does, it's kind of buttery already though. It is. It's really good. The seasoning tastes good on it. Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. Paige, you want to go in? <laughs> Eat it. It's just a little nibble. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it. It's just off. a little nibble. Okay, well, I guess if she's not gonna eat it, I'm gonna eat it. Mm. <laughs> Texture thing. And smell. And look. Honestly, I think they taste better out of the cold water than they did in the middle of the summer. Really? I, I mean. Because I remember I the feel... ones in the middle of summer were kind of, you know. Yeah. They're kind of iffy because, yeah, you know, they've been sitting in that true. hot water and yeah. gross water and. Soaking up in the mud yeah. and stuff like these guys are sitting in the bottom of the cold water. Yeah, they're fresh Yeah, I think I, I don't know if fresh. that's a thing drop a comment down below Let me know. I don't really know but I think these ones for some reason taste better than the ones that we did in the middle of the summer In my opinion, but well, this is gonna be the end of today's video Thank you for watching if you guys want to see another crawl fishing video drop a comment down below Let us know. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. We will catch you guys on the next one